despite a number of initiatives put in place by the government of Uganda and our partners to empower women and fight gender-based violence, violence against women and girls is still persistent in our communities. It devastates victims, it affects their careers, it destabilizes families, and overall it affects our efforts and those efforts of our partners in socioeconomic transformation. Domestic violence, violence against women in particular and girls must be fought. I appeal to the frontline leaders, the community development officers, the police, the local council leaders, the prosecutors, not to take this matter as an issue of domestic family settlement. Domestic violence is a crime and the worst crime is not a matter for settling at the family level. We are proud as Minister of Gender and the government of Uganda to associate and pattern with the Spotlight Initiative. It's a great opportunity to work together with all government, development partners, civil society, religious and cultural leaders, and the private sector to end violence against women and children. The Spotlight Initiative prioritizes vulnerable groups to ensure that no one is left behind. And this includes adolescent girls. I appeal to all partners to support the Spotlight Initiative so that we can end gender-based violence, violence against women and girls. Thank you. We repeat. The need to end domestic violence or violence against women and children is urgent. We all know it. First of all, it's a violation against people's human rights. It destabilizes families. It affects careers of these young girls and women. And it generally breaks down the social fabric of society. It plays counter to any efforts of any government and the global efforts of socioeconomic transformation. There is no development, be it economic or social, if members of a family or society are discriminated against, are brutalized on account of their gender. We must all condemn it. And as the government of Uganda, what is the importance of a program like Spotlight to be in place? The importance of Spotlight Initiative, first of all, reinforces our already existing initiatives. It mobilizes resources to support the actors involved. It helps to create awareness that it's not yet done, that work is there to be done, and that we must vigorously fight violence against women. It's not an issue of culture. It's, not an, it's, a, an issue, it's a human rights abuse. So we welcome the initiative, and we thank the partners involved. Government of Uganda will play its role and is fully committed to the initiative. Wonderful. Thank you. Without, and without um, taking action, if we don't take action mm. against yes. violence, uh, or how, how would we put it? If we don't mm. take action now, mm. yeah. then action is now, not tomorrow. If we don't take action now, we'll continue to have families breaking. We'll continue to have dreams of young girls being shattered. We'll continue to have women suffering and when women are suffering it's not your wife suffering it's your mother suffering it's your sister suffering it's your daughter suffering it's it's a social problem that concerns everybody it's not a gender it's not limited to the female gender only so we must take action now to stabilize our families to stabilize our societies and to be able to achieve globally the SDGs I'd like to thank the partners involved, the EU, the UN family in general, for identifying Uganda, not only as the most problematic country with the problem, but also being, having the good social indicators of fighting the vice. So I want to thank them for recognizing our efforts and for choosing us among the few countries of the world to 
be to, to benefit from this spotlight initiative. I welcome the, the decision of the UN family. And my very last question is, so the importance of ownership of the government in yes. this program. Yes. What can you say about that? The importance of government being party to this and owning it is key because it builds on the already existing frameworks. It reinforces what we've done and brings everybody on board. And it helps to crusade everybody, the, the, the community gatekeepers, the jealous sector, the enforcement agencies, that this is not the usual talk about fighting domestic violence, but it is the actual fight and moreover, a renewed fight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.